my Marie Browning from Tombow. Welcome, girls. And I'm going to talk to you about the Tombow markers. Most people are familiar with the markers by actually just putting direct to paper and blending out with a water brush on watercolor paper. But I'm going to show you that you can actually work on any type of paper, whether it's even just a, a, a cheap bond or a vellum or a cardstock paper. So it's called actually indirect blending. So I'm going to take the color and put it down on a um, piece of plastic or an old CD or anything that won't absorb the color and then pick up our colorless blender and then blend. So if you're filling in the space in a stamped image or in a peel off, you just fill it up and it will automatically go from dark to light. Oh. So you can also take another color and go the other way and blend two colors together. So blend purple into blue. Now you don't always need to use the blender. You can actually take a lighter color, like this light, lighter blue, go into the purple and start blending and go one color into the next. No way, I hear my mom's voice in my head going, but you're gonna ruin your marker. No, you're not, because all you have to do is take them to a scrap piece of paper and blend out that color until there's nothing on it, until it comes back to the original color. Even if you're using a yellow marker with black on it, it will take off, the color will come clean, and the marker will be fine. So not a problem. Now we've also got this glue pen, which works really well for gluing on rhinestones or gears for steampunk, and it holds nice and tight. Even when the paper is bent, they don't really? bing off. It's a really good glue. But I also like to use it as a resist. So before you sat down, I wrote out a word with the glue pen, but uh -huh. you can't I can see, see it. Just a little bit of a shininess, yeah. so you can kind of tell it's there. And what to do is just take your marker and go over top. And I'm going to take a piece of tissue, and you see what happens? It works as a resist. So. For, you know, if you're doing a rubber stamp, you want to do stripes or dots. So you can actually even shade it pink, do polka dots, and then shade over top with a darker color, and then you'll get the pink polka dots showing through. So it's a really oh. cool little technique. And is it still sticky? Because you said it was glue, no, but it dries. doesn't feel sticky to me it at all. Dries. Marvelous. So um, another thing I want to show you is um, a fun thing to do with the markers, and it's based on the fact that when you take the brush end of the marker and press it down, you get this teardrop shape, okay? So I'm going to take the fine tip and draw some stems, and I'm actually going to put some more purple down on the blending sheet like I showed you before, and pick it up with a lighter color, and then I'm going to get a two-tone teardrop shape. Now, if you notice, every time I make that shape, the point is facing away from me. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing this technique, I just turn the paper around to the best position for my hand. So I'm just going to add a cluster of little teardrop shapes. Thank you. And going to make a little sprig of lavender. Oh, look at how fast you work. God bless you. So a nice little thing of lavender. It needs some leaves. And I like to add a few aphids flying around. <laughs> and they are really nice. They fly nice, pretty little cir circular swirls for me. There we go. So now you have a little accent, which is really great for accenting lettering or... Um, even on an envelope, just to exactly. drop off a little envelope. Put your address on and dress it up. I do have a new book. This is a prototype, so it's not all done yet. But it's coloring the Zen tangles. But I've also included a whole bunch of the Tombow tangles as well. These yeah. are Tombow tangles. I'm going to do a little close-up of this pretty hard because this would be a yeah. Zen tangle style heart. Yes. A heart that has been filled with various... Um, black ink patterns and then kind of custom colored you with a little see the resist yeah, oh, that's yeah the resist using that size. resist glue pen like I showed you beautiful so that's for you that's for me 
I'm a happy dummy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Marie. I, I like to bribe my film people. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>